Well, as you saw earlier, the detour between Port Alberni and Lake Cowichan isn't ideal for all drivers. It's a connection that's had its fair share of problems, but in situations like we're currently facing, it is a crucial link. Uh, in the summer of 1993, one of those problems surfaced when the road near Ubo was shut down. You know, this road's been here since probably the 1930s or 40s, so you ended up with something built in a train group where you wouldn't build these days. Sometime around Christmas, a section of a mountain gave way and blocked the North Shore Road around Lake Cowichan. Fletcher Challenge and BC Tell are paying upwards of $50,000 to reopen the road. They both have vested interests. Fletcher Challenge has a large logging block at the north end of the lake, and BC Tell has a fiber optic cable that was damaged by the landslide. But more than that, the public depends on this route. A helicopter survey has revealed the road is almost ready to open again. One of the reasons for delaying clearing this road was they had to wait till after the winter rains. It was too dangerous. There was a lot of slippage and mud and there could have been further slides. The road actually rings Cowichan Lake. The slide occurred right about here, the North Shore Road. The fact they're clearing it is good news for Ubo because they'll get more business now as people from the west side of Vancouver Island are able to use the North Shore Road and drive here for business and other reasons. Well, this is an important road link uh, for uh, local people and also uh, ultimately for ourselves as a part of our industrial road complex here. And while we're not using it now, ultimately we will have a need for this road. Uh, in the short term, of course, uh, the local people and tourists like to use this road. They've taken two weeks to stabilize the rock face above the road. Rocks the size of small houses came tumbling down in the landslide and blasting crews have been busy blowing them up into manageable sized chunks. Today marked the final blast. For months, there's only been one or two vehicles on the North Shore Road each day, but by this coming Wednesday, barring further complications, the route should be busy again until the next slide, which according to Dave Simpson could happen next week or a decade from now. After all, it's nature's timetable. Bruce Kirkpatrick, Check 6 News on Lake Cowichan's North Shore Road. Island Rewind is brought to you by Arbutus RV. Whatever your adventure, six island locations to serve you.